Go again. Uh, I'm going to review a new little chess rig Officer Bosco got today, so I'm going to try and step out of this shop without tripping over something. So, uh, Bosco, take it away. Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Officer Bosco. Uh, basically, this uh, what I'm going to be going over today is a Condor. This is the Condor Recon chess rig. Okay, it is not a ballistic. Uh, rig, you cannot put plates in it, but it's basically if you want to have a... Uh, so it's just for load bearing? Basically a load bearing vest is what it is, but it's good for patrol because on patrol I wear a vest underneath anyway, so I don't really need something with ballistic panels. Um, the great thing about this vest is it's very, very comfortable. Uh, right now I have uh, my Glock 23 in here, which I carry when I'm off duty, and I have this in my car. This is what I carry in here on duty. I carry this on patrol, so I carry my car in here when I'm off, when I'm actually on duty. Uh, what I did was I replaced my Max Expedition Go Bag, which I still have, which I still love, by the way, um, in my patrol car with this rig because the more I thought about it, I need something that's more readily available. Uh, the problem with the duty bag is it, you know, it's shifting on you. Uh, this thing, this thing is solid. You're not going to have to worry about that with this. Uh, so if you're a police officer, your department allows it. Like I said, if anything we talk about here, uh, make sure you check with your department. If you're a police officer, make sure that you're able to carry this stuff before you go out and buy and start buying stuff. Uh, check your general orders, your SOP, your standard operating procedures, and make sure everything you buy, you clear first, uh, especially like with guns and stuff that we talk about, because you may go out and buy a gun and find out you can't use it on duty. Um, but if it's your own personal stuff, that's no big deal. But for on duty, check, make sure you're, because some departments may not let you have this. Um, but basically, I decided to replace this, because literally, um, it comes with a full complete, uh, it's got the uh, the X, which I believe is the Zimbabwe, and they call it the Zimbabwe carry. Something like that. Yeah, it's always it's in bubble carry. It helps to distribute the weight. Also with these, it has an adjustable strap at the bottom, so you can adjust this. Now this is a little loose, so that way I can wear it on my vest, but it's not like rocking around on me, so it's pretty secure. Okay. The nice thing about it too is I'm going to explain these in the front, but the nice thing is it also has additional uh, moly on the side, moly option gear, so you can actually add more mag pouches if you want. Uh, also another thing which Officer Joel has on his belt, which I want to put on here, is a uh, like a little med pack. You know, a little emergency medical pack, but you can do that. It's got this on both sides, okay, as you can see. So you can actually add even more pouches to it, okay, which is a nice touch, okay. Uh, now, standard-wise, it comes with six, uh, the place for six AR-15 magazines, or like with my gun, it's a C93. The magazines fit perfectly fine. Uh, actually, my 40-rounder, um, HK33, 40-rounder mag also fit in this. Uh, tends to stretch these out a little bit too much, so I just kept the 30-rounders in here. Because uh, I don't want to stretch it out too bad. Um, what I do is I have five uh, loaded magazines. Like I said, the main thing I do is like uh, when I'm off duty, I actually I can actually fit this in, in one of the, in this front mag pouch and actually still have the rear mag pouch available for magazine. So there's plenty of room in this thing. Um, but this is a good thing to have this. So that way, if I need to go to a pistol, I got my pistol readily available and it takes up one of the magazine pouches. Now the front it has a total of six pistol mag pouches. Okay. Um, I have my two Glock magazines in the front pouch for those two, and these two right here are actually empty, and then I have the, uh, basically I took my stuff in my go bag or my bug out bag and put it in there like my pepper spray uh, for like dogs and stuff like that, and I also put my uh, mini collapsible baton, which Joel makes fun of all the time, but it'll still get the job done, and that's all that matters. Uh, it's not for looks, it's for practicality. Anyway, but it works, but it's nice to have in case you need it. Uh, but like I said, this is a really nice chest rig. I bought this online. Uh, it retails for actually around 35 bucks. Um, Condor makes really good stuff. Um, they're still fairly new to the game, but they're definitely growing. Uh, with the uh, quality of their product, is just top rate. This thing is just so un uh, extremely comfortable. You know, especially when you're carrying this much weight, it's you know you can barely feel it. You can you can walk around all day with this on and off. You know, it wouldn't hurt your back. Uh, one thing it also has too is behind here is it actually also has two other little mini compartments so you can keep paperwork in here. Like if you had a map or something like that, I actually carry a pair of spare pair, pair of cuffs back here. And then there's another actually little mini pocket behind that. So there's plenty of pouches to put stuff on uh, with this thing just for paperwork or pens or whatever you want to put in the back of your, you know, it's, it's a very, very handy vest and it's got a lot of different options. And like I said, the fact it's got extra moly area over here, you can play around with it and add or subtract whatever you want. Also from a cop standpoint, it's good too because up here on this, it's got multiple areas where you can put your lapel mic, which is a nice added touch. Uh, the only thing I wish that it did have, which I don't know if 
condor would think about this as an extra option because it maybe have a strap or something you can put across here, which you could probably jerry rig one and make one anyways, where you can put a police patch on there. Or maybe put like a space up here, up on the tops, which is just my personal opinion. Put some uh, top stuff on the top, so that way you want to put a patch up here or you want to put a badge or even just police down the side. Or if you're like a tactical operator, you want to put, you know, NK, no known allergy patches or O plus patches, you could do that as well. Uh, so that'd be one recommendation I'd, I would make. Maybe make this up here with Velcro, you know, a lot of this Velcro up here so you can add that extra stuff. But the sky's the limit, like I said, for 35 bucks you can't beat it. Um, it's like I said, it's very stable. And uh, the main thing is too also, like with me, this is mainly for duty. Um, make sure that you pull it up high enough to where you clear your belt um, because that's a major problem with vests, just bulletproof vests, is people, cops don't put their belts on when they get measured. You want about a good about a good two inch gap so that way when you're sitting down this isn't jamming up your neck or if your vest is not choking you when you're sitting down. So when I first got this I made sure it cleared my vest and I can still get to all my gear on my belt which I don't have. I can still get to my magazines, my radio and all that stuff and also get to my gun as well as my taser even with this belt on, even with this thing on, which is what you gotta, you know, you wanna make sure you got it readily available, but you wanna make sure you can still get to all your gear, which is, as Joel will tell you in all the videos I talk about, always make sure you can get to your gear, because if you can't, then what's the point of having it if you can't get access to what you need to get access to? Uh, but anyways, this is Officer Bosco. This is basically a brief description of the Condor Recon Vest. I wanna say the part, I think it's MRC5, I think is the model number for it. Uh, they also make another vest, which I believe is slightly different. This is the Recon. Uh, they make another one that's slightly different. I believe it's like $15 more, give or take. Um, I think it's just a different configuration of how the pockets are, and I think it has a couple more pockets built in. Um, but like I said, this is an excellent rig. It was well worth the 35 bucks. And like I said, I replaced my Go bag or my active shooter bag with this, because this way you got everything accessible throw it in the front seat of your patrol car. Literally, I'll just show you real quick to take it off. This is all I do. Pop this piece right here, the scratch. There you go. You can't make it easier than that. It's almost as much time as it takes to put on the active shooter bag. So some of you officers, this might be a good option for you. But anyways, I'm Officer Bosco. Uh, welcome back to Police Today's Talk. Give us a like or a subscription. And like I said, if you ever get a chance and your department allows, this might be a good investment for you. Or if you're not a civilian, this will also be good for uh, at home as well as a backup bag. And I'm Officer Bosco. I'm back to Police 10A Talk. Be safe and watch your six.